It's the checkpoint! Yeah. Okay, are we getting close? Are we getting close? Yep, ready? One, two, three. Peekaboo! <laughs> We see you. Welcome to our April episode of The Checkpoint. To start things off, it's me, because I don't have that much to present this month because I wasn't uh, as productive. Uh, so I beat one game this month. I beat Luigi's Mansion 3. It was lovely. The game design, the atmosphere, the spookies. Um, it was really nice. It was really relaxing, uh, really, really nice way to end the night. Uh, I think some of my favorite mechanics were there really wasn't, like... The, the Gooigi, that was probably my favorite part because I got to like control two players going through the world. That was really nice. But it was like turn your brain off. Exactly. It was like, that was really what I liked because as you all are aware, I'm still playing through Breath of the Wild because it's a little spooky right now. It's a little hard and it's just a lot, but I love it, but it's a lot. So anyways, uh, my official sofa bit score for this is eight boos out of possible 10. So it's a pretty Ooh. high score. It was it, it rang a lot of bells, I'll be honest. Um, Outside of what, what I've been up to, I've still been working on um, The Breath of the Wild, and I've still been also working while well, I play Animal Crossing, in which we found out you can get end credits on. Yeah, so you can get end catch credits. Catch me in a year. Yeah, <laughs> so say. it's gonna be it's gonna be lit. Um, the other thing I wanted to present on real quick before I pass it off on to the other goons to talk about what they made and beat, not made, but beat, I guess, uh, is my worlds collided this month a little bit. There was some security-related gaming news. So I don't know if you heard, but the some of the source code, old source code for CSGO and Team Fortress 2 was leaked online. And it was kind of a hullabaloo because it allowed remote code executions on your computer, meaning it could install malware if you were playing it. could have been a whole thing. They looked at it. It wasn't actually a thing. And then also Riot Games had this, this kind of interesting like software happening that... It kind of could be a key logger is what I had read about it. So not so great. Um, lots of privacy issues with gaming right now. It's just been a, been a weird month for gaming. I think it's because everyone's at home. Anyways, uh, Dylan, you? Uh, yeah, so I, <laughs> after last month, after last month, I, uh, I kind of, how do you say, slowed down a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I only, complete, I only beat one game this month. Uh, that game was Journey to a Savage Planet. Or Savage World? No, I'm going to forget. The Savage Planet. Savage, Savage Planet. Planet. Okay, I thought I wrote it down wrong for a second. Okay, okay. so hear me out. Here's here is my I'll hear it go in moment. Um, so the gameplay was fun, like, and the level design was fun, and like it was very colorful. I liked the atmosphere of the world. Um, but my gripe with it is, it was like a lot of or the story was was boring i i didn't find any enjoyment in the story um and you oftentimes can get very sidetracked because it's it's kind of like sandboxy kind of in in a way is it like a crafty they, game it, it's like you craft some stuff by like doing like ed, like exploring more then you can unlock more things but like a metroid mm -hmm. thing like kind of like yeah kind of like a metroid thing you have to explore more therefore you can unlock more areas therefore you can get new stuff that sounds like fun, it's though. It sounds fun, but it gets very boring because, like, all the puzzles you do are very easy, and oh. it just seems like more of a chore towards the end to do everything. Mm. I beat the story, I didn't that. realize it was the end of the story. All of a sudden, credits rolled, and I was... I, di I didn't know. I didn't know that was coming. You, you um, were on the journey the whole time. Dude. I was on the journey the whole time, but sometimes, also, the platforming was tedious in the way that, like... When you landed, it wouldn't like it would like slide you barely off, and then you'd fall to your death or some things. Mm -hmm. Like at one point, you have like this grappling tether thing, um, and it like didn't trigger properly sometimes. So you try to jump up, it like it doesn't give you the option to like grapple, and then you'd fall to your death. Um, but all in all, I did enjoy it. It was really cute. Uh, so okay. I gave Savage it Savage Planet pretty cute. <laughs> pre Savage Planet pretty dang cute. I give it a sofa bit score of seven adorable owl babies out of a possible ten explodey jellyfish flyboys. Whoa, Whoa, that's a lot for me to do. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <Hey. laughs> All right. Well, so, yeah. Okay. So yeah. is that me? Do I go? Yeah. Now? Yeah. No. No. Yeah. yeah you Nick, 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 you're in. You're right. in. You get the talking. Stick. Okay. I've got. I've got a couple. See the sticky note? It's got a couple things on it. Couple things on it. Couple. Th mm. I'm gonna talk about two games. 
two yeah, games. Yeah. Because I what? beat a lot of indie games <laughs> this month. Uh, I was at nine, but then I beat Inside, Flower, Journey, Superliminal, and then I beat Neo. So I beat five. Ooh. So I'm at 14 now. Because that's how math works. Um, so the first one I want to talk about, like very briefly, is Inside. It's this... I. I actually don't know if it's made by the same people that made Limbo, but it reminds it me, is. you know, it feels like that's the nice. next game they would make. Okay. So shouldn't have started that way, but that's where we're at now. All right. <laughs> uh, it is. Ev- okay. So Limbo got hyped to me like so much and it was like this cool, very stylistic thing. And I thought it was really boring and pretty bland. The, the hype, it lives up to the hype. Inside lives up to the hype. That's the sentence we're rolling with. It's everything Limbo was marketed to me is. Is. Was. I'm going to reset. I'm going to. Inside was good. <laughs> I give it a 10. Out of, I give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, the last. Like everyone should play this game. Because the last like two minutes of the game are incredible my mouth was open like literally i'm not exaggerating whatsoever my mouth was open the entire last bit of the game people who have played it will know exactly what i'm talking about people who haven't that sucks i'm not going to go into more detail because i can't spoil it it's insane <sighs> well, i appreciate the non-spoilers the animation the anime the art direction the, art direction. the gestures i'm making off camera kind of the other one yeah. is Neo. Uh, it's another Soulsborne. It's another one of those those hard ones. Uh, it could have been a really good game. Uh, mm. Sekiro is kind of what I'm comparing it to because Samurai's Soulsborne <laughs> makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, it was. It felt so unfocused because half the time it was like super serious and uh, you know it's gory, obviously, but the, you know like this supposedly kind of dramatic story is happening but at the same time there's like adorable little spirits all around i can tell you this i have no idea really what the story was about because it was so seemed to happen like in text boxes that i was supposed to pay attention to they gave you like a million names all at Mm. the same time and i had no idea who was who sounds like a bad russian novel yeah Basically, Ooh, basically, all I know is William, the main character, wanted to beat up a guy for stealing his little fairy. That's the story of Neo. That's what? all I got. Well, sounds like I, sounds like one of those games uh, where you just uh, you win some, you lose some. And the other thing, it was actually surprisingly easy towards the end. That's why you said that the final Ooh, boss was I mean, like super easy. It right? was super easy. That's like dumb. basically, I, I feel like I found an exploit, which it's not. I just did magic. And you could just destroy people. There's like a spell for like slowing people down. Mm. You just spam that bad boy. You're good to go. Is it Stopka or what? <laughs> it's basically Stopka. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. cool. Um, for that, that? Wait, was that a ki- hold on? Was that a Kingdom Hearts reference? Uh, Dylan, originally I think it was Final Fantasy, but uh, <laughs> sorry, you I don't know. Uh, I don't, I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. I just was trying to figure that out, man. Dad, get up on the camera, Lego. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm my bad, dude. Never let it happen again. <laughs> <laughs> so to wrap all that garbage up in a nice bow i'm gonna give neo the game that could have been good a six grizzled white man saving the japanese world samurai out of ten it is so it's whitewash too yes. yeah no, it, it, it very felt it felt a lot like white savior oh god he's the one yeah. white guy saving everything that's not great <laughs> so uh, suppose he was based off a real guy, though. He went to Japan. There's like this Irish guy that went to Japan, I think. Oh, like the the one that like colonized all of it, and like, dude, there was a story in Neo. I didn't get it. I'll point you to the history books, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> sorry, Dylan. You made such a funny laugh. He could be making what? the most ridiculous faces right now. I can't wait know. to see in in post. Uh, well, that brings us to the end of our uh, little April checkpoint here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've been Sofa Bits, and you've been listening. See you next month. Follow us on Twitter. See you next Subscribe. month. Subscribe. Yeah. Follow us on Twitter. Ring the bell. Yeah. Just keep leading back. Boom. Yeah. Just keep leading oh. back. Oh. And done. Uh,